presentation, everyone. Thank you all for coming to this very urgent meeting. Uh, I'm going to turn it over without much more introductory remarks to um, the Secretary General. Thank you. Thank you for attending this emergency climate summit. Finally, we've had the moment, and I just want to thank you for the call. I've been asking you all to join this kind of meeting for a very long time. And finally, we're here with an emergency climate summit. I'm reminded of December 7th, 1941, the day that we'll live where? In infamy. You don't know about four days later, December 11th, because that was the day when they actually had achieved a plan in the United States to deal with entering this global effort. On December 8th, Franklin Delano Roosevelt called the chairman of General Motors and said, you will come to Washington, D.C. right now. Chairman Kane said, we will curtail our production of civilian passenger vehicles. He said, Roosevelt, no, you will cease all production of all civilian vehicles, and you will only dedicate yourself to getting rid of the tyranny of what's happening in Europe. Citizens responded as well. We've heard about the victory gardens. We've heard about recycling metal. we reduced meat consumption. People can pull together quickly. This is our Pearl Harbor moment here on our planet. So I've invited six groups of people who in an hour can craft a plan for finally addressing this challenge. You have one hour to come up with a plan that is going to work. We need all of you together to work on this. I'm going to turn it over to the chairman, chairwoman of climate for the United Nations.